Okay, so I've just got this uh, respirator, Moldex brand, um, sent out through Spray Guns Direct. I thought I'd give it a bit of an unboxing. Uh, a few guys have seen my other one where I got a fake 3M one from China. Never got used, it was total waste of money. And uh, this one does look a little bit better. Get into it. Nice lightweight and it's got the charcoal filters and a particle filter there so so with these respirators you're better off if you leave them in a sealed container so maybe like a lunch box or something like that or even just a ziploc bag so i've just got a little ziploc uh, plastic bag and i leave my uh, respirator in there when i'm not using it that just helps any uh, contamination staying out of those filters so that's why you see these charcoal filters and the pre-filters also they come in the bag so that they're not going to be getting contaminated on the way to you but you still have to take care of them obviously after you started using them now i didn't bother reading the instructions on this particular one who reads the instructions but i have read the instructions on a couple of the sunstrom ones and they say 48 hours you should change them over in a real world it depends on how much you use them and the environment if you've got a full down draft spray booth look you can probably get two or three months out of them um in my booth probably a month i'd probably want to change them over so definitely better than uh the previous respirator i got and this is going to be my new one i can tell it it doesn't smell like it's about to kill me like the previous one and um it's nice and light actually that was the first thing that and it's got a nice fit it fits around my face nice and tight i always like to keep them nice and tight around your nose so you don't get any paint coming through but um yeah this should be totally fine for any two-pack paints so it ended up actually performing quite well i could not smell any two-pack paint fumes at all coming through and i use it for the base coat as well and i know i'm going to get a few people saying when you're spraying two-pack paint you really should be wearing an air fed respirator um i disagree uh I've used these for years and I mean a long time, just half masks and they're totally fine. Especially in the booth, we have got, um, look, this isn't the best booth. Uh, it's not full down draft, so I don't have grates in the floor. The overspray does hang around for a little bit longer, but if you're in a um, fully down draft booth, then these are totally fine. Only real downfall is I don't have any eye protection. You also may have noticed that I'm using a brand new gun here. It's the Devilbus GPI 1.4mm. All I can tell you now is it's a total weapon. I'll be working on a review and demonstration on this gun in the next couple of days, so stay tuned. Just going to leave it there for this video. Just a short one for you today. Thanks for watching. Now you've seen this video, get out there and paint some shit. This has been another Gunman production. Goodbye.